So it's patch 403, you're waiting for Kata to come out, you're bored. Let's go Gammon Gulching. So you start by queuing for Warsong Gulch. Happens to be the bonus weekend, never hurts. Then you engage Gammon. A Gammon is a Tauren who's a part of some low rogue pickpocketing quest, which means he has to be targetable. Now he's level 85, which means he has about 2 million hit points. And he hits cloth for about 660k or so. So you should be ready to either tank him with a couple of healers and some good tanking gear, or kite him. So as a frost mage, I'm going to kite him using the old frostbolt snare. Now the frostbolt snare does not last very long and is only applied um, with frostbolt. And so that means I have to run and keep jumping around and turning and stuff and shoot him again. So normally what happens is a lot of people start to help out. You can see that right now. He's Cyclone, for example. And the funny part about this is not everyone watches their threat properly and not everyone understands how roots work. So you'll occasionally see Gammon target someone else, um, turn around, kill them, and then come back to me. So double speeding it now because it takes a little while. Like I said, he's got 2 million hit points. Um, now he's already down to about 75% uh, because lots of other people are damaging him and you'll also see that um, there are a bunch of dead bodies around and there will be more before this is finished. So um, if you're going to be DPS and Gammon, you should be a ranged class or you should be very careful because if someone roots him in place and you're on his threat table, he'll just turn and melee swing you since he only attacks melee targets when he's rooted, so he'll go after people he can hit with his pimp hand, and so you will die. So I'm just running around using the little frost element, uh, elemental freeze, ranged freeze as well. Problem is, since he's 85, you will miss sometimes, and so the snare will fall off. So if worst comes to worst, I can ice block, um, and when he gets out of range, then I can uh, pull out an ice block and invis if I have to. All right, my Q pop. Let's just take that Q. Whoops. Can't. He's not snared. Ooh, that hurts. All right, so. <laughs> so you make an excuse in trade chat and you get res, take the res. Then you can zone into Warsong Gulch. So you might say, why don't you just queue for Warsong Gulch and then play it like a normal person? Why do you have to Gammon Gulch first? Well, I think this is more exciting, and really, it could have ended a lot differently than that, like I said. I mean, maybe I Ice Block and watch as he runs around and kills everybody, and then I Invis, and then I take the queue pop. I think that's probably what I wanted to have happened, but anyway. Okay, so now we're running around and we're going to play Warsong Gulch. So here's a Shadow Priest. And let's open on this guy a little bit. And as you can see, I suck still. I couldn't even find the fucking button I was looking for. And so he didn't get frozen or anything. And my opener really sucked that time. And this Shadow Priest actually has pretty good gear. He's got about 35k hit points. And he's got about two people on him, and he's still coming after me. And, uh... Notice how close he gets to killing me, by the way. So I gotta block his dots off, or I would have died for sure. Uh, both flags are out, so let's see where they are. Maybe... Okay, there's... Their flag. So it's always a good idea to run in a pile. Pretty much that's the strat for Warsong Gulch, all things being equal. The team that runs in a pile better usually has a very good chance at winning. So, alright. The team that we're playing actually has pretty good gear. Um, not everyone, but a lot of them have pretty good gear. In particular, there's a Resto Druid called Evdal, who really just makes this difficult for everybody. 
And there he goes with the flag right now. Or no, that's a different Resto Druid, excuse me. So we get the return this time. And watch the Shadow Priest on the right. He's just going to come over and pwn me. But that's alright, I think I killed somebody. It was actually, I hit Cold Snap, but I didn't get the Ice Block off. But yeah, for the most part, I mean, as a Frost Mage, anytime you have a pile of enemies and they're trying to get someplace, that's your time to shine, because you have about a million ways to slow them down. So here's our Resto Druid friend, Evdal. He's got a few dudes on him, so he's going to have a hard time getting out of here, but... Look at how much damage he's taking. If I had a spell locked him right there, he'd probably be dead a few seconds before. Almost seems like he might get away, but not quite. Okay, 1-0. Stopping to refresh the frost or ice barrier. This guy freezing. Ba ba ba. So there's like four dudes over there, and my friend just died, and I'm not liking the odds. So I'm out. A little mirror image. And little invis. Pet! Get the fuck away from me, pet! Go away! Walk the other direction, you're... There you go. So the Frost Elemental now is out all the time, but it's still on a three-minute cooldown. So as long as the cooldown is up, you can just sacrifice him and then immediately bring him back again. So this Hunter... Spell Reflect. I know what I'll do. I'll just keep shooting at it. I'll just keep shooting it. Oh, well, that sucked. And then in chat, I'm like, oh, that Spell Reflect lasts a long time. Mm-hmm. So I was looking at the animation. It's all little blades spinning around. I don't know. I expected it to wear off. I expected it. I don't know. So I just keep shooting it. Stupid, right? Pretty dumb. Fortunately, I do not make this mistake twice. There's another pile. Oh, we see a big, ugly druid in his big, ugly new druid form. So, who am I DPSing? Not the big, ugly druid. Is this going to be a problem? Hmm. So the Shadow Priest is scaring me, so I'm spell locking him and getting the hell out. I don't like to die in PvP. A lot of people just go headlong into the battle knowing full well that they're gonna die and they might be able to take a couple people with them. I will not necessarily engage in that case unless there is a game objective on the line, like a flag return or something like that. But if it's just some people fighting on the field, I don't think it's a good idea to just run in there if you're outnumbered um, or don't think you actually have a good chance of, you know, killing somebody and then escaping whatever you want to do. So this hunter wants to chase me around, but I'm not having it today. I'm gonna go help the flag carrier. Still tied 1 1. Our flag is being carried by the Resto Druid Evdal. And there he is coming out of the tunnel. And now we get to see Resto Druids do what they do. Freeze him. I'm pretty much out of cooldown, so I didn't get any um, 
but I didn't spell lock him. If I had spell locked him right there, this is kind of my fault. If I had spell locked him when he was really low, he definitely would have died. Because there's no one else here healing. Just him. He's taking like four people, beating the crap out of him. Okay, there comes some priest heals. But for a while, it was totally just him. So, of course, druids can't be snared, really. Unless they're spell locked in torn form or whatever. Or night elf form, fine. So he's gone. And even with my improved glyph blink with the extra five yards, I totally can't catch him because he's sprinting now. So I'll just go after him the best I can. Now my pet is still on defensive mode, which is stupid, which means I can't mount because he kept me in combat. So finally I pull the pet into passive mode. When I have two more feet left to mount in, anyway. <laughs> 